Assalamualaikum Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Reach out to Pharaoh in several ways Inviting him to accept Allah as the Lord First, Allah sent Pharaoh's two prophets Inviting him to submit to Allah And one of them is Moses Who was one of the great prophets And whose story are often repeated in the Quran Next, Moses came with the first two major signs His staff which turned into a serpent and his hand becoming bright white for all to see. These are followed by six other distinct signs as punishment, drought, flood, locusts, lies, frogs, and blood. Beyond all this, Allah also reached out to Pharaoh through his conscience that informed him that Moses is truly a messenger sent by Allah. Allah even made his wife a Muslim and sent one of his family members who hide his faith to urge him to listen to Moses and accept his da'wah. And the finale was when Pharaoh saw the spectacle of the parting of the sea where Allah saved Moses and the Bani Israel. Pharaoh knew all along that Moses was genuinely a messenger of Allah and Allah is the one true God. But he refused to accept despite this admission. Allah says in the Quran, And among them are those who listen to you, but can you cause the deaf to hear? There is benefit from this hearing, although they will not use reason. And among them are those who look at you, but can you guide the blind, although they will not attempt to see? Indeed, Allah does not wrong the people at all, but it is the people who are wronging themselves. Surah Yunus verse 42 to 44. This brings me to a comment made to my recent podcast where I highlighted that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave example in the Quran to convince us that resurrection is real and a true promise. One of these examples is his reviving of a dead land. Despite the verses of the Quran that I have shared, The comment went like this, fail to provide any evidence for the resurrection, of course, they always fail. How can we make the deaf to hear when hearing does not benefit them if they will not use reason, or the blind to see when they will not attempt to see? For Allah says, and if they deny you, Muhammad, then say, for me are my deeds, and for you are your deeds. You are disassociated from what I do, and I am disassociated from what you do. Surah Yunus, verse 41.